sneak in uh, uh, when you open the door, um, but they will also get into your house when you bring fruit in from outside where they may have laid eggs. And so if I'm a fruit fly and I get into the house, the first thing I'm going to do is smell for alcohol or for fermenting fruit. Fruit flies are not that attuned to color, although they may be attuned to shape. Um, so uh, it may be possible that they'll detect you know, the shape of, of a fruit or something like that. But, but for the most part, their attraction to fruit is through their olfactory system. Um, and it's a very specialized olfactory system. They're focused on detecting these particular odors. We've discovered so many things about uh, biology, about genetics, about uh, uh, genomics because of this little fruit fly. I'm a little bit biased to them, but I think they're probably the, the most important research organism that's, that's ever existed on the planet. It's a large number of genes that we share in common with, with fruit flies. The sharing of genes is very, very important uh, for Drosophila to be a research organism. The reason that you may see one one day and then 20 or 30 the next day is that they're very prolific breeders. Once a female is inseminated by a male, uh, she can lay hundreds of eggs. It's about 10 days from the egg being laid to the uh, adult coming out. Uh, when we eat fruit in the summer, um, we're more than likely ingesting fruit fly eggs. Um, they're not that bad. I mean, the eating a fruit fly egg is not that bad for you. Um, it, it actually has some protein in it and... and <laughs>